Welcome to a special edition of The Laws of Life. I'm your host, Blanca Greenstein. We're going to talk about six top tips on cultivating contacts. Well, the first tip I want to tell you is, and we hear this every single day, is point number one, you must come up with a written plan. What are you going to do over the next 90 days, 120 days, you know, year, in order to determine how you're going to build your business? So what I did at the beginning of the second quarter, I sat down and I isolated every single event that I'm going to attend in the second quarter of 2018. And I want you to know that I've already gone to three events, one of which you know was the Business Broker Conference in New Orleans and cultivating all the people via email that I met at that conference. Technique number two, after you meet a contact, reach out to them within 24 to 48 hours via email. But instead of just sending an email, have a call to action on your email and arrange even a short five minute telephone conference with that person. I think when we're, people always think, oh my God, I don't have an hour for a one-on-one -on -one lunch. I don't have 45 minutes for a cup of coffee because they don't know what's gonna happen out of that interaction with you, and that's fair. So one of the things that I do to try to conserve people's time is just say, can you do a five-minute phone call next week at 11 a.m.? And I set 25 phone calls on a particular day, five minutes each. And once they accept that five-minute time slot, I then send them a meeting planner to reserve them for that time period. If they don't accept, then I can do a second follow-up email or give them a shout out. Tip number three, always have an invitation in your hand to your next networking event. Always have an invitation in your hand. So today's invitation to you is next Thursday night, May 17th at the Blue Martini. I. Deborah Tendrich with Eat Better, Live Better, and of course my co-counsel, Major Peruis, are hosting a cultivating event contact at the Blue Martini at Town Center in Boca Raton, Florida, Thursday, May 17th from 6 to 9 p.m. There is no cost to attend this event, and you get your first drink free. What more can you want? I can't make it any easier for you, let alone giving you the winning lottery ticket, which I wish I could give to you, but I can't. So show up, but bring five people with you. If everybody brings five people with them to that event next week, and that's tip number four, use other people's events to help yourself. I don't mind. Bring four or five other people to that event. When you invite someone to an event, you're telling them you care about them. You're telling them you want to get to know them better. You're telling them that you want to have a friendship with them. So the more the merrier, guys. Bring people. What's the worst problem? We drink water all night and we hang out. That's the worst thing that's gonna happen. We run out of alcohol and good appetizers, okay? Bring people. But that's tip number five. Get people excited about coming to the event. Get excited about it. Because if you're not excited, why would they be excited? Make them feel welcome. I really want you to come to this event because I want you to be personally introduced to Blanca Greenstein, your favorite attorney in America, okay? Or introduce them to someone else. It doesn't matter, but the point is, make them feel welcome. And tip number six, stay positive. And as I've told you guys time and time again, the laws of life isn't just for me, it's for you. It is supposed to be a networking tool that we all use to engage and communicate with each other. So an example, when I was at the Brokers Conference in New Orleans, I met Ken Rakowski, who was the key note speaker of the event. After he gave his presentation, I went up to him and I said, how are you? I'm Blanca, I have my own show, The Laws of Life. Can I interview you? And he said, sure, when? I said, how about right now? And we did a Facebook Live interview right there on the spot for about 25 minutes and learned Ken's Laws of Life. So what does that translate to you personally? What I'm saying to you is, if you meet an interesting person, someone that's accomplished something in their life, or someone that is a community hero, someone special, and you wanna shine a light on them, invite them onto the laws of life. Come onto the laws of life with them. I'm currently scheduling shows for the next 90 to 120 days. This is a great time to tell me what guests you have, who you'd like to bring in, and get involved. 
I hope you learned something from today's special segment of the laws of life. Stay positive and stay connected and have a great day. Thanks for watching.